Hi. Today I thought I would do um, a comparison uh, between uh, two student grade pencils, colored pencils, and that is Crayola versus Faber-Castell Classic Color. Now, <clears throat> I have the 100 set of the Crayolas and I have a 36 set of the Faber-Castell Classics. And uh, I thought, <clears throat> I've done pages using both these pencils and I personally, from my experience using them, I don't see much difference in the vibrancy of the colors, but I have found some other uh, uh, differences that I want to share in case you're looking for, um, you know, you can't afford the high-end quality pencils. I have very little in that regard because of the cost, so um, I, I, like to, I like to try out different student grade pencils and find one that isn't crap, let's put it that way. <laughs> so, um, what I did, I took um, the basic colors that would be found in a 12 pack and I uh, compared them side by side using moderate or medium pressure. And I'll start with the red. Uh, what I noticed in coloring with both, this, this by the way, is uh, Nina White 65, uh, 65 pound cardstock paper. In coloring with the Crayola, um, they are a bit scratchy and they don't quite get into the tooth of the paper. In other words, you can see uh, the little white spots of paper um, <clears throat> in the color. The classics, however, have, have much smoother coverage and are much better at, at uh, covering those white spots. Um, so I think for the classics, they give better and smoother coverage and they're creamier and less scratchy. And I also found that true on um, other paper and uh, other colorings I've done. I'll show you some examples of that in a minute. And as far as um, the blending goes on this side here, I, to my surprise, I thought the Crayolas did a better job at blending, or um, you don't see that um, transition line so much. See, in, in this example here, you've got a much better blend. Same thing with the red and the orange. And the green and the yellow. Especially the blues and the greens. Now, although I did find that the pinks and purples, I, I did like the result that the classic gave a little better. But all in all, I think the Crayola's tend to blend a little bit better. Now as far as vibrancy goes, because I only have the 36 set in the classics, um, I, I uh, found the most, uh, the closest color to the Crayola that I could find. And I went by the Crayola's color name and found the equivalent on the uh, classic. The classics don't put color names on their pencils. So that's one disadvantage right there. But um, regarding vibrancy, I think they're about equal. 
and some other observations. Um, <clears throat> the classics sharpen so much better. I've had a lot of uh, bad luck with Crayolas breaking on me. The wood quality, let me see if I can find one for you. That's a Crayola. You can see the, the jagged, uneven sharpening, and that's using an M&R sharpener. And oftentimes there are, you, you get uh, sharpening that are, uh, you know, one side of the wood is pointing toward the tip. And uh, they use a cheap wood. A lot of times you get these little rough ridges when you're sharpening, it'll, it'll splinter and often break the lead. I don't have that issue with the classics. I'll show you, I'll also uh, show you what these look like. The, the Crayolas have a round barrel and the classics have a hexagonal barrel. And the other thing I observed was even though both are roughly 3.8 millimeter, I can, I can sharpen the classics to a much finer point than I can the Crayolas, which is why I prefer these pencils to doing um, fine details over the Crayolas. The, they, they use a, a much, uh, the, the quality of their wood is a lot better. You don't have those sharp, rough ridges like you do on the Crayolas. Um, also, I did a price, price check on them. Uh, you can get a box of 50 Crayola at Walmart for $7.99 and a hundred count for $14.94. The, the Fabris Castell Classics, however, you can get a 48 count on Amazon for $20.50 and a 60 count for $28.60. So if, if uh, color uh, put out and um, you know, vibrancy are important, but you don't want to spend a lot of money, then Crayola is fine. It's just, like I said, I've had uh, quality issues with them. But um, I think if, if you want to spend a little extra money, um, the, cla the classics are smoother. They, they, um, they're, they're less scratchy, and um, the creamier. Now granted, they're still a hard pencil, but not as hard as the Crayolas. Now, I'll show you a couple of pages I've done in this book, The uh, Court of Thorns and Roses. This book has, has very good paper quality to it. This one was done with the classics. And it's not bad. Granted, it's, you know, you can tell it wasn't done with a artist grade pencil like a Premier or Polychromos, but uh, they, they, do, they do okay. And, they, and I found that uh, they did quite well on this paper. Now this one, 
was done with Crayolas. And uh, I think I think this is lovely. I mean, it's I, I'm not bragging on my coloring, but the, the color itself. This was I think um, blue bolt, a color that's found in the uh, 100 pack. And these are this was done with partially um, the pink neon. And uh, I, I think the color, you know, the, the uh, vibrancy is impressive for just a kid's pencil, you know. And also, I, I've decided, well, people might be wondering, how do they work on Create Space paper? Oh, I have this Mandela book right here. Uh, Kaleidoscope Mandela's by Mary Robertson and I played around with them today. Half, half was done with the classics and half was done with Crayola and I can't tell which is which. I mean I know which is which. This, this half was the Crayola and this was the uh, classics. And just like on the um, cardstock paper, there is a difference in the way they color regarding um, the, s the smooth, uh, creamy feeling versus the more scratchy. The Crayolas are much more scratchy on this paper, but I think they blend nicely. Now yeah, this is the uh, Crayola side right here versus the classic side. And, you know, you can hardly tell the difference in vibrancy. So don't let a price tag fool you. If you're um, getting into coloring and you have a very tight budget, Crayolas are fine, just be aware that you might have some quality issues with them. But the way they uh, mass produce these, you know, it's expected. And um, the classics only come, I think their largest set is a 60, whereas the Crayolas have now just come out with a 120 pack of different colors including one of my all-time favorite Crayola colors, Sea Green. That was always my favorite uh, go-to crayon. <laughs> so I'm glad they finally made it, you know, uh, gave the color its own pencil. So anyway, I thought I'd share this with you for something fun and different. Thanks for watching.